this is a discrete mathematics question we have been given a first order predicate formula which is for all x for all z's if z divides x this pipeline symbol is denoting division operation z divides x implies that either z equal to x or z equal to 1 which means if any number is dividing x then it will either be x itself or it will be 1 so this particular part simply implies that x is a prime number now coming to the second part this part 1 is implying that there exists a w such that w is greater than x and for all z if z divides w then either w will be equal to z or z will be 1 now this part is again implying that w is also a prime number so combining both the parts together it is simply saying that if x is a prime number then there exists a w such that w will be greater than x and w will also be a prime number so we can further simplify it to say that uh, for a given domain if there is a prime number x then there will also exist another prime number w such that w is greater than x now given these three sets we need to check if the given predicate logic is satisfied by them or not now uh, looking at the set s1 it is a set of first 100 natural numbers within this set we have in total 25 prime numbers but if we pick up let us say a prime number 97 then we do not have any greater prime number than 97 which falls within the same range because the next prime number which we have after 97 is definitely greater than 100 so we can say that this uh, set S1 fails this predicate logic but checking for the set S2 which is a set of all positive integers here we can definitely find a greater prime number for any given number because this set is uh, infinite set uh, it is countably infinite so for any given number we can definitely find a greater number which is also prime and same applies for the set 3 which is a set of all integers here we can do the same thing for negative numbers and we can do the same thing for positive numbers as well so for any given number we can definitely find the next greater prime number hence both these s2 and s3 are satisfying the predicate formula and hence we can go with the option c which is s2 and s3 so that is the correct answer